got June now. Mm. Hello. Hello. Hi, Derry. Hi, June. Hi, can you hear us? Yeah, very faintly. But yeah, we're... tell us right, about yeah. it. You, you, you speak up for us. Okay. Now. <laughs> you, you speak up for us. Derek now. and Philip to speak I will do, yeah. Now, your husband's been offered a job, is that right? Yes, that's right, yeah. Okay. Um, and you he, want... he is self-employed at the moment, but it's going to be another job in... Um, in another premises and it, because it um, affects us both in a way being self-employed this one's going to be a big decision um, and we're going to put our holiday money into it and are we going to be doing this big right thing <laughs> June, sorry we, we're having real difficulty hearing you but basically I think I'm right in saying you want to know if your husband should take the job or not mm, okay yeah. well let me pass you on now C could you do that one yeah of course him? I will are you darling how are you keeping you know, as I listen to your voice there, I do feel that there's an opportunity or there's something been there to do with something that sounds like rudely, is it? And uh, I feel that that could take you into a direction that could be very successful. But what I do feel is that, uh, that your partner should be very sure about what he wants. Can I just ask, June, have you got a connection with Rugely? No, not really, no, just Stafford. Okay, all right. I feel there will be a connection that will draw, draw you towards Rugely, and I feel that that could be a very positive thing that could be there for you. But I think your partner should decide what he really, really wants in life. Because I'm not so sure that he's really ready to make any sort of change in his right. working conditions at the moment. You feel that as well, Derek? Yes, yeah, I Yeah, it's a strong one, isn't it, Very Derek? strong. Crystal clear, right? It's not ready. So you, do, you, it? yes. you think he should stay? I do. Do you I do. I, do. Yes. Where I, I, do, uh, I don't want to put in, but I no, don't feel fine. he's... he's um, you've got to be ready inwardly sure. For, sure. The, for an enterprise. Because it's not just the motivation to your energy level and everything. Absolutely. And it's not all in place. Yeah. What about missing an opportunity, though? If you miss an opportunity, isn't that something that's come out? Sad about the Sometimes future. that's the right thing to oh, do. Yeah. No, to these wait for another energy yeah. to come. <laughs> these yeah. are I feel really yeah. very yeah. stronger yeah. with that, Derek. Yes. And I feel cool and I'm, I'm back that up as well, yeah. Philip. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. so there you go. Did you get that? Basically, yeah. they both Don't think that he should stay where he is. All right. So, yeah. and yes. thank you. And you can and tell also, him tonight. There's a strong Rougely connection as well. So bear that in mind. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, darling. Up to Dundee now. We've got Dawn, I think. We've got enough time for Dawn. Hello, Dawn. Hello, good afternoon. Good oh, afternoon. nice and loud, Dawn. That's Hi. Clear, isn't it? Okay, um, so you want a general reading, do you? Well, yes. In January of this year, I lost an uncle right. that was very close to me, and he died very, very suddenly. No one expected it. Okay. Although he did have a few illnesses. Uh, I don't really think he realised he had, and I just basically wanted to know if, you know, if he was safe and he was okay. Okay, let's very quickly... Lord, I'll give you positive evidence that that man has passed over in his side because at his funeral there would have been a row of flowers, with red flowers with water around and I think it says Dad on it. I feel he's gone where there is a George also... Hang also, on, hang on, can we just... I'm that, sorry, John, darling. is that right? Uh, George, there is an uncle George. Yeah. That's the one, my darling. But if you think back to to his own funeral, the gentleman that you're talking about, someone Your would uncle. have yeah, someone would have put something with DID on it, with red and white flowers around it. I see it clearly. Do you, Dad? That's right. His yes. children put my darling, I don't oh, think. Please, right. please, my darling, don't think that I'm being big, big Eddie, because no. I'm just an no, ordinary guy with an right. ordinary gift. But I, I don't ask for yes or no's because I know I'm right. I give you proof that he carries on. I've got to ask for yes or no's. I'm oh, desperate no, to know if you're right. I'm sure Derek will agree. Yes, yes, I so, do. I do. Good. So, yes. so basically, do you, uh, sorry, Dawn wants to know if they're okay. Yes, yes. of course they yes. are. There, you, yes. uh, as we get the vibrations, yes. they're clearly there, aren't they, Derek? They are. And can I just say, forgive me, Philip, but can I just say also to you, Dawn, I say it with love and respect, uh, your lovely uncle, was he connected to a gentleman called Jim, James or Jimmy? Not that I can recall. Who, would, who was that gentleman that's now resident over there? I, d I don't recall the name. Yeah, I get that very strongly. Uh, but I also, can I say to you please, with the lovely uncle, uh, conditions when in his physical, and I'll say it quickly, did he not suffer please uh, with his, um, the hips and the walking and also lower abdomen? Yes. Uh, Yes. Right, yes, okay. I'm yeah. picking him up here, you're saying. I'm really sorry. We've run Coming out of time. He's fine. Jack, it was known as Jock. Positive evidence. Thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you very much. Oh, thank thank you. Dawn. Bye, Dawn. Thanks very much. Bye, thank boys. Thank you very much. And, bye, thank boys, thank you very much. and we are... We're going to be back in a few minutes to tell you what's coming up back in a second. Back in a couple of minutes. Hour. Amazing.